Hey there friends, let's talk about good old Globestar. So the past month here with Globestar, we have been having a pretty good run here since around the 14th of March. So almost a month. And news keeps getting a little bit better here. Last video I made with Globestar, Globestar came out and they said they're going to be doing a lot in the next few years to get more satellites up in orbit for them as a telecommunications company. Then as of recently, they have released more news that they have striked a partnership with another company. This is good. This is what we want to see continuing. And this is what Global Star does. We see this a lot with Global Star. Last year and the year before we saw this. Global Star is famous from January to February to March to April to May to June. The first months into the new year, they will release a lot of information. They will strike up a lot of new deals, partnerships. We've seen this a lot with them. And that's pretty much why I told people like the end of December, the beginning of January, I was like, listen, you really need to be looking at Global Star right now because these guys show a pattern of what they do. And this is pretty much going to be free money right here. And not to mention, if we get another Apple rumor, this thing is going to fly once again. So as you can see right here from the 14th to the 15th here, we've had significant growth right here until now. So if you look at Global Star, this 120 to 160 dollar range here, this is always the playground for Global Star when they start to have movement, when they start to have good news. It's always fluctuating around this price range from this 120 to 160. And this 160 we have not hit yet. But with the pattern that we're seeing right now with Global Star, more than likely we will break into a 160 pretty soon. Now, I know there's a lot of people go, they're, they're gonna comment and they're gonna say, man, this thing's gonna be five dollars by you know July. That's great. I love to dream too. I really do. And I'm very bullish on Global Star that they can achieve that and they can do that. But we're gonna need to see bigger contracts, we're gonna need to see bigger quarterlies. Global Star is still a company that is you know still struggling with some debt, but it's the growth in the pattern of what Global Star is doing that for me as an investor, what I like, you know, I, I I'm gonna tell you my history with Global Star real fast is that I've been in Global Star since it was 30 cents. You know, I I, I remember finding this as a penny stock obviously it's still a penny stock but i mean like a penny stock and we have seen a lot of things happen in the past two years with global star i mean a ton so here's what i want to say looking at this chart right now obviously we have got a slow climb which is great and it's very normal for global star to have a slow climb like this we have seen this time and time again but like I said, this one, you know, 120, 160 range, it's, it's going to be the ballpark and fluctuate quite a bit with Global Star in that circle. But I do see, but I do see a 160 coming up here pretty soon, as long as we keep this going. Because if you look right here, when we go into this, so look right here. So right now we kind of topped out today around this 155, we'll say. Now we're having sell-off going right back down into the 40s, 140s. So more than likely, if we can build another shelf here, then we're going to have movement back into a high 150s, if not breaking into a 160s. And then hopefully on top of that, we'll start building another block. But hopefully we continue to get good news with Global Star and that it helps build these blocks and sustain where we are. You know, one thing about bidding into Global Star is that, you know, like I said, Global Star releases news, 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 and then they'll just go dormant for like two months. And you're like, okay, what's going on there? They're not saying anything. They're not releasing statements. What is going on? And people get scared. They leave. They get bored. I mean, let's be honest. A lot of people, they get bored with stocks and they leave. So hopefully, you know, 2022 here, hopefully this is the year that we can see Global Star break into a 2 to $3 zone. I believe it's going to take some time. I don't believe this is going to be one of those like, this is going to be $10. Friends, I have been hearing people say this is going to be $10 for the last two years. Would I love this to be $10? Absolutely. But when we count up everything and we look at the logistics of the quarterlies, the debt ratio, everything they're involved in doing, that more than likely is not going to happen unless we see some crazy deal take place. Anything's possible. I'm a firm believer in that with the stock market. But right now, what we have to go off of with Global Star is 
the black and white picture of what we see right now. You know, what are we looking at? What are these partnerships? What are the quarterlies? And how is the stock flow moving? And right now, we're in a very positive position. So I'm sure a lot of my Global Star friends on here will agree. If you've been in Global Star for you know even a year, you are well aware that Global Star plays around this 120, 160 zone, especially when we have positive news and we're seeing an organic walk up. But hopefully, like I said, it sustains that with better news and bigger numbers pushing with investors. So friends, I'm bullish on Global Star. I think this could be the year where we actually see something happen here. This is a company that's not going in debt. This is a company that is pushing forward into the future. They're going to be spending a lot of money coming up here. But hopefully they're going to be continuing their partnerships with other bigger companies. And that will push the stock up even more. Friends, with all that said, remember, be positive, be you, take time to invest in that future of yours, and I wish you all the luck in the stock market, and let me say this, I love Global Star, I'm a firm believer in Global Star, but Global Star can be a hard relationship. Like I said, if you've been in Global Star for a while, you know what I'm talking about. Friends, I will talk to you soon. Bye, everyone. I wanna be, ooh.